Hi, Sergio Gomez with Cisco Tag Data Center Routing and Switching. Today, I will show you how to configure a VPC fabric peering on a pair of Nexus 9K devices. VPC fabric peering provides a dual homing solution over a VXLAN fabric without the need of wasting physical ports for the VPC peer link. This feature preserves all the characteristics of a traditional VPC. Let's check the following diagram to illustrate how VPC fabric peering works. As it is displayed, this is a VXLAN fabric. The VPC fabric print is going to be formed between Nexus 9K1 and Nexus 9K2. There is no physical ports between 9K1 and 9K2, hence no physical peer link. Instead, leaf spine leaf connectivity is used within the VXLAN fabric underlay, meaning that loopback reachability between 9K1 to 9K2 must be successful for this to work. VPC fabric peering is only supported on EX, FX, and GX Nexus devices. This feature requires TCAM resources on the region Ingress Flow Redirect with a minimum value of 512. Use the following command to check TCAM resources. On above example, there are no resources on the Ingress Flow Redirect. We need to borrow TCAM resources from another region to be able to assign to the region of interest and after performing the configuration changes, it is needed to save the configuration and reload the device for this to take effect on the TCAM. Above requirement is not needed on the GX device. Once Nexus 9K has the correct TCAM resources, the next step is to start the configuration. Step 1. Configure QoS on the spine. The spine requires QoS configuration on ports facing the pair of Nexus 9K or the VPC will be configured. Step 2. Configure the VPC domain on the Nexus 9K1 and Nexus 9K2. The feature VPC must be enabled to be able to configure the VPC. For the peer keep alive, it is a best practice to use the management interface and the management VRF for an out-of-band communication between the VPC devices. The virtual peer link IP is the address configured under a loopback interface. This loopback must have IP reachability between the pair of Nexus 9K devices forming the VPC. DSCP value is 56 by default. This value must match to the spine configuration that was done in the step number one. Step three, configure the peer link. Peer link is a requirement, even though it is not going to have any physical port assigned to it. Step four, Configure the VPC ports towards the end devices. This step is configured the same way than a normal VPC. Both Nexus 9K devices will form a VPC to the server. In this example, using the interface Ethernet 110 and creating the port channel 66 with the VPC 66. Step 5. Repeat from step 2 to step 4 on the Nexus 9K2 device. Remember to flip the VPC peer keep alive and virtual peer link address to match the Nexus 9K1 IPs. Step 6. Validate the VPC status. Once the configuration is finished, the command to validate the VPC status is by doing the show VPC command. Peer keep alive should be alive, virtual peer link mode should be active, and the peer link status should be up. The VPC role and the status of all the VPC interfaces will also be displayed here. Please review the Cisco documentation to consult all the guidelines and limitations on this feature. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching.